Hello and welcome to another review. This time I'm reviewing the Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel Spider-Man, Spider-Man and Ghost Rider vs. Carnage that set that came out in 2021. It retails for $19.99 and has 212 pieces and 3 minifigures. Now let's get on to the build. Here is the first minifigure, which is the newest version of Spider-Man they've been using for all the sets. And this one has some cool printed arms, which is nice. And there's the back printing. And yeah, this is just a very simple Spider-Man. Has cool. I like the arm printing, but you know there are definitely cooler Spider-Man minifigures out there. So yeah, he also comes with these power blast pieces, which you could put into his hand. And if you can pull them and shoot it. So I guess that was a cool play feature. Now let's look at the second minifigure. And here is the second minifigure in this set. And this is definitely the coolest minifigure in this set. It's Ghost Rider. The Robbie Reyes version of Ghost Rider. Which was an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. if you've seen him there. And he has some great printing on the torso. And that's very different from the original. Here is it compared to the original Ghost Rider minifigure, which they're both cool figures, but I kind of like the original better. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, there's the back printing and it has this headpiece that was 
first introduced with the first Ghost Rider. So yeah, that's it for Ghost Rider. And here is the third and final minifigure, which is Carnage. And they've been using Carnage and Venom a lot recently. Like, we got like one version of them for like the first seven years or whatever. And then in the past few years, they've been like recently releasing them in like every set. And it's like, it's like they don't know that Spider-Man has other villains. But anyway, I guess this is a cool figure. I'm kind of getting tired of seeing him, even though I haven't gotten many of the sets recently. But he has some cool printing. And he has these weird tentacle arm appendages on attached with this piece. And then there's the back printing. So I'm getting tired of seeing him, but I guess it's still a cool figure. Oh yeah, and uh, he does have printing on the back of the head there. So yeah, that's it for all of the minifigures. Now let's look at the build. And here is the build, which I think is a really cool build. It has all these fire pieces you can put on to make it look like he's Ghost Rider's driving it and it's on fire and stuff. I don't know if it, I don't really think it looks that great with the fire pieces on. Especially the ones on the wheels, I don't know. Especially since there's only one here on the back one and then on this side it's one on, smaller one on the front. Maybe if there were more and at least, I don't know. But here is the engine up here and it uses stud shooters. Which I think doesn't look that great, but I think it is a cool play feature. You just push them down. You know how stud wor uh, shooters work. But take this off. You can put Ghost Rider in there. And... There's the back. Yeah, and I just think this is a really cool build. Uh, now first, before I end off here, let me show you the build without the fire pieces on there. And here is what the car looks like without the fire pieces. Like I said, I think it looks better without them. Looks a little less messy. But it definitely reminds me of a Speed Champions set. In fact, here's it compared to the Dodge from Speed Champions. I think that this one looks better, but that's obviously going to be the case because that's what Speed Champions is made for. You know, Marvel's superheroes isn't really trying to make good looking cars, but this one definitely doesn't look bad. And it also uh, it also comes with these extra fire pieces that didn't tell me to put anywhere. So yeah. But anyway, that's really it with the set. I think it's the best set to be the uh, best Marvel superhero set to be released with this wave. But anyway, that's all I have to say. So see you next time. Goodbye.